ट्वेंटी मिनट्स इन टू हंगामा टू एंड इट्स अनबेरेबल so much so that it shook me out of my laziness and actually forced me to make this video in fact it's even inspired me to start an entirely new segment let's say if a movie is dreadfully bad i'm talking of the horrendous variety much like this one then in this segment apart from telling you how bad it is i will also recommend you a movie which you can watch instead an alternate choice it could be a movie of the same genre like comedy for comedy or it could be a movie of the same actor or director in short bole to ek review ke sath ek recommendation oof oof Let's Hangama 2 is a remake of a 1994 Malayalam film Minnaram. Priyadarshan and the producers for some reason thought that remaking a 27 year old film is what the public needs. As expected, it is outdated and stale. Hangama 2 is a story of a woman who lands up in the house of the guy whom she used to love in college. Singing Jaane meri jaane man bas pan ka pyar mera bhool nahi jana re She claims that he is the father of the child that she's carrying. With the news like that, the chaos that ensues in the family, along with a series of cringy, unfunny, unimaginative jokes, form the rest of the film. I have many problems with the film, but first of all, why would you cast a rank newcomer in a role that was originally done by Mohanlal, and yet another newcomer who does the role that Shobhna did in the original? It's almost like you want the movie to fail. Also, to be honest. It is absolutely unfair on these newcomers. I mean, बेचारों का करियर शुरू होने से पहले ही खत्म हो जाएगा. I remember Priyan had done this long before to a guy named Jay Mehta. He casted him in a movie called Muskura Hut, which was a remake of the Malayalam hit Kilikam, which starred Mohanlal. This is Jay Mehta. I am very sure none of you remember him. Poor guy must have thought Priya Darshan के साथ first film करूँगा, and then Priyan would have told him. मोहन लाल वाला रोल दे रहा हूं तुझे वाह ऐसी पिटी फिल्म ऐसी पिटी क्या बताऊं बेचारे को एक और रोल नहीं मिला पूरी लाइफ में मुस्कुरा हट वॉज प्रियदर्शन फर्स्ट हिंदी फिल्म आई थॉट ही वुड हैव लर्न अ लेसन फ्रॉम दैट बिकॉज देन ऑन ही स्टार्टेड कास्टिंग सीजन एक्टर्स इन हिस्स फिल्म लाइक जैकी श्रॉफ इन गर्देश और अक्षय कुमार इन हेरा फेरे और अक्षय खन्ना इन हलचल एंड हंगामा द फर्स्ट पार्ट बट वेन आई सम मेजान जैफरी इन दिस रोल I knew that kisi ne uska pull lo kaat. I really hope his fate is better than that of Jay Mehta's. Second of all, why would you call this Hangama 2? Why is it a sequel? Neither the storyline nor the characters, not even the setup is common. Matlab kuch bhi kuch bhi the only similarity is the doubting husband track but unlike the first hangama where this was the main storyline here it is a parallel track to the main storyline which is again a trope that priyadarshan uses in many of his films it's hard to see priyadarshan who at one point in time was the king of remakes in bollywood with the uh, winners like virasat and hera feri i would go on to say that he is single handedly responsible for the revival of akshay kumar's sagging career today he feels like a pale shadow of himself all in all hangama 2 is a movie that shouldn't have been made so what do we do i suggest to drop this and watch this instead if brain is this in hindi cinema then he is this in malayalam cinema across the 90s and the early 2000 he ruled the roost churning out blockbuster one after another his career graph and reputation in malayalam cinema is the stuff of legends and somewhere in the peak of his skill he made a movie called kala pani Kalapan is a story set in pre-independent India. Govardhan Nair, our main protagonist, is a doctor by profession, a patriot by heart, and a revolutionary by spirit. Govardhan believes in non-violence, but that doesn't mean he will not voice his dissent. An unfortunate incident lands him in the British prison in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. 
otherwise known as Kalapani. The story then explores the miseries and anguish that he and his other fellow inmates have to endure during their time there. One of the costliest films of Malayalam during that time, Kalapani won a lot of accolades, including the three national awards. What makes Kalapani really stand out for me is it is very different from the so-called patriotic films about the British Raj and the Indian freedom struggle. Priyadarshan's intention in this is not to sedate us with doses of patriotism and jingoism, but to shock us with the sheer brutality and the inhumanness which was prevalent at that time. The diversity of the prison inmates serves as a raw depiction of what our country is and stands for. If you've only seen Priyadarshan's comedy films, then you are in for a gigantic surprise. Priyan's balancing of the realistic and commercial aspect of the film is skillful and almost masterful. Mohanlal who leads this stellar star cast is magnificent. He completely immerses himself in this role and strips himself of any superstardom hangover. You ask a Bollywood superstar to do a role like that and you will know what I'm talking about. The others include the always outstanding Tabu, the ever dependent Amrish Puri and the surprise package Prabhu. Of course one can't mention Kalapani without mentioning the out Standing original score composed by the maestro himself, Ila Raja. Kalapani is not a light-hearted comedy, hence maybe not a like-to-like -like replacement, but it's a fascinating watch and it gives you an idea of what Priyadarshan as a director is capable of. Some of the scenes and the dialogues still resonate. It's not a football. So that's it guys, uh, this was the first episode of Watch This Instead. Uh, did you like the idea? Do you have any suggestions? Would you like to watch more of this alternate recommendations? Do you have any suggestions for good alternates? Let me know in the comment section. So till the next horrendous movie hits us, this is your trusted DC Binger signing off.